Well guys, it's officially September, but I'm wearing a crop top today because I refuse to acknowledge it. It is still summer. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? I hope you're all doing super well. Today we're going to be testing out Sephora's category of next big thing products. These are new product launches or brands that are trending, that are up and coming, people are really excited about, and so I bought them and we are going to test them out. And I'm also super excited because today's video is sponsored by Neutrogena for their sheer zinc sunscreen because you know it's always trending? Sunscreen. I don't care if you're outside, inside, in a pool, in a windowless room filled with balloons, you should always be wearing sunscreen. I personally like to make it part of my morning skincare routine, so I just stick it in my bathroom right next to my moisturizer. I actually almost applied it today, and then I remembered that I wanted to apply it with you guys. This is a mineral-based sunscreen. They have one for face as well as for body. I'm applying the face one today because I'm putting makeup on top, and this dries down sheer. It's oil-free, non-comedogenic, so it's not gonna clog your pores, and all of that great stuff. It's also water-resistant for 80 minutes, in case you're going swimming and also avoiding fall like I am. I also wanna show you guys one of my super sneaky hacks for applying a sunscreen, especially on those like no makeup makeup days, or like I know a lot of people are wearing face masks out and you're not doing like a full face of like heavy duty foundation. So what I do, I'm just gonna take a little sunscreen right there. And then what I do is I mix in a little bit of some bronzing drops in like that. And that way I get a nice like bronzy glow to my skin. I have my sunscreen on, I am ready to go. It's like the perfect no makeup makeup. Gonna mix that in and apply it to my face. Do, 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 do. Ooh, so glowy. And look at that, boom, donezo. Ooh, and also rub in any leftover sunscreen that you have from your face into your hands. Cause your hands show your age. Always make sure you put extra sunscreen there. And now we can go on to the makeup. So the first product we're gonna be testing out is the most expensive one. It is the most expensive makeup product that I have purchased in 2020. I clicked order and I'm like, oh my wallet. But I'm excited about it. I haven't even opened it yet because I wanted to like do that with you guys. And I remember seeing it when it first launched on Instagram and I was like, ooh, that's so pretty. And then I saw it again in a couple of tutorials and I was like, oh, that's so nice. And then I saw it in the next big thing and I was like, well, I guess I need it. So we have the nice pretty palette. Oh. I love it so much. The palette has a number of really nice matte shades so you can build and create like a very nice everyday look, but also some really fun kind of more shimmery glittery shades here in a number of different undertones. Like even these, though these ones all kind of look very similar, I bet when I swatch them, they are gonna look different. I can't justify the price of this if they're not. Oh my gosh, I'm swatching them right now and they are so buttery. So there are those four shades right there. They do swatch a lot different which is good, that's what I was hoping for. This one right here is super metallic, very pretty. But I do have another glitter product that I'm gonna be applying to my eyeballs a little later. So I'm gonna put those on, but that's not all the glitter we're using today. All right, now that we're zoomed in, I think what I wanna do is I saw on Natasha Denona's IG stories a couple of weeks ago, she did this like really pretty soft, bronzy glam kind of an eye look. I expect perfection from this. I paid a lot for this palette. All right. Following along, step by step, we are going to start with suntan, this shade right here, into the crease and outer third of the eye. She is clearly going a lot faster than I am. Ah, stop. We're going to pack it onto the lid. Oh, it's so beautiful. If you ever get a chance to try out some of her eyeshadows, they really are an incredible formula. Step number two is taking the shade Beach and using that to, to blend out the crease a little bit. You know, get rid of those harsh lines. Oh my gosh, they blend so seamlessly, it's ridiculous. And she went pretty far out, almost created like a triangle, like way out here. So I'm gonna try and do that as well. And now that that's a little bit more blended, we're gonna go in again with suntan and we're gonna apply that under the eye. And she goes pretty far down, like, right to basically the bottom of the eyeball, if that makes sense. So that is what we are going to do as well. Way down mirror. Just kind of tapping that on till I have it all the way down, way under my eye. Okay, now we're gonna use beach to blend out any harsh lines under there. Blend, 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 blend. Honestly, it feels like I'm blending down into my cheekbone right now. But I trust you, Natasha. Now we're gonna take the shade Sundown, this shade right here, and we're gonna apply it to the inner corner, blending up. Okay, I can do that. 
to like blend it out in the corner though. All right, now it looks like she's getting into a lot of the more glittery shades on the lid. So I kind of want to combine the shades from this palette and also another brand that was on the list and that is the One Size by Patrick Star. This is a liquid glitter for the eyes in the shade Pea House and we are going to apply that to the lids as well. So I'm gonna start with Natasha Denona. She used the shade True Copper on a wet brush in sort of the inner third of the lid. Just cause I wanna see how this is gonna to apply to bare skin. And also just like how, how glittery is it? So that is True Copper right there. There we go. That is just the Natasha Denona shades on. And now we're gonna pop a little bit of the One Size glitter onto the lids. I do wanna see what it looks like though. I'm gonna swatch it. There we go, right there. It's got more of like a silver glitter than I was anticipating, but no matter, we'll make it work. I just wanted to get a sense of like how much glitter is applying when I apply this to the lid. Spoiler alert, very glittery. A little bit more silver than I would like for this particular look. Like it's very sparkly. If you like very glittery eyeshadow, think like um, the Stila glitter eyeshadows, then you might really like this. Now I'm going back in with gloaming, I wanna say. Gloaming? For the outer third of the lid. She just used her fingertips for this one. It's like more of like a deep shimmery shade. And then next she took the shade Silk right here and applied that to the brow bone. I haven't done my brows yet, but it's, it's fine. We'll make it work. Do, 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 do. Very shiny, I look today. And then she just used her finger again for alloy. This one, it's one of my favorites, so pretty. It's like very, very metallic, very gold. And she applied that underneath the eye and she applied it all the way across. This is very messy and I can't see what I'm doing, whoa. Okay, and then she took a little bit of true bronze this shade right here and pop that right in the center underneath the eyes for more dimension. I think I want to put a little bit on the lid too, just to add a bit more bronziness to that silver glitter. And then we're using Beach again to blend out the lower lash line. I don't know if I would call this lash line as it's more of like under eye. <laughs> I have a little bit of fallout down there too, which I can clean up, that's not a big deal. But uh, just something to note. This is very drama, very dramatic. What do you guys think? How did I do? It feels very, it's a, it's a lot. But I mean, the shades are gorgeous, super pretty, very over the top look for me, <laughs> for right now. I don't think I love alloy under the eyes. It just feels a little like yellowy orange for me, but I haven't done anything with like lashes or, ooh, I have a very interesting liner that we're gonna try on next. But in terms of this palette, I absolutely, I love it. I I mean, it's gorgeous. It's a gorgeous palette. I get it, I get the hype. <laughs> Wait, actually, before I get into the liner, I do wanna do my brows because they're bothering me. And we are gonna be testing out the Velour Fluff and Brow pencil. Fluff and Brow. Fluff and Brow. I don't know why, but that word just really <laughs> intrigues me. I feel like I need to say it with an accent, like a Fluff and Brow. This is the three-in-one brow pencil and balm, and this is very, highly rated. I could not believe how many five-star reviews were for this product. And it was also the next big thing. So, you know, we got to try it. I mean, we could try it if I could open it. Go, go gadget eyebrow scissors. Okay, here we go. Wow, looks like, like a calligraphy pen or something fancy. So we have, I bet the balm is on this end. Yup. And then on this end is a little pointy, like a tri triangular, almost teardrop liner. Li not liner, you know what I mean. It is a teardrop shaped pencil. Whoop, wrong lid there. Already smushed it, great, cool. And then on top of it is also a spoolie. Three in one. All right, let's open this up on the computer and see what order I'm supposed to be applying this. All right, for natural feathered brows, use the tinted balm and in a back and forth motion, apply it directly on brows to add volume and then brush for that feathered perfect brow look. <laughs> okay, I don't think I'd ever apply to anything into my brows in a back and forth motion. That just seems like, like animalistic, I don't know. I like how I just went right in and I didn't even check and make sure like the color is good. Oh, it's very light. Okay, well that's good. Like in terms of like the, um, it's not super pigmented if you apply it lightly. 
you'd have to like go over it a couple of times. That's good. All right, let's go all over. La 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 la. And the other side. This is so weird. All right. Brows look great. We're done. No, I'm just kidding. Now let's spoolie them up. See if we have that perfect brow. I do like the spoolie. I don't know why. Strong one, but not like aggressively scratchy. You know the ones I'm talking about that are like really scratchy, right? This one is not scratchy. All right, there is the natural feathered brow. At any rate, Jill, help a girl out. Do they look like feathered? Do they look any different? Now let's go in with the smaller pencil and make it a little bit more defined in little spots, you know? This color, by the way, just offhand comment is the exact shade of my brow. That's great. I'm using, by the way, the second darkest shade, dark brown. The pencil is very nice. It's almost got a little bit of like a, a balminess to it. It's just like a little bit of a thicker consistency, but I'm not mad at it. Gotta be honest, I'm really kind of liking this pencil. I was skeptical as to like what could be so great about this pencil, but I see it now. I understand. Beautiful. And now that my brows are on, now we can dive into the liner. This one is by Kaja and is their Wink Stamp Liner as things are falling out of the box. There are two fully falling out of the box. And this is to help create that perfect winged liner effect because one of these is actually a double-ended like wing stamp that you can stamp on either side of your eye. And I tested out one of these from Amazon like years ago and I really liked it, but the line, the actual wing itself was a little like wide for my eye type. So I'm curious on how this one will look. Plus it also has a regular liner on here as well. So you can kind of fill in the gaps. So um, yeah, we're gonna put this to the test. And it comes with instructions on how to apply. It indicates on each end which eye it is for. So you use that particular wing for that eye and you line it up with the lower lash line so that they're even on both sides. Boop. It's like a little, little triangle guy. Just gonna wipe that off before I get it all over myself. Oh my gosh. I always forget how much black shadow is under my eyes right now. All right, here we go. Right eye first. Oh my gosh, if this ruins my eye shadow, I'm gonna be real mad. Okay, so I'm gonna try and line it up with the outside of my brow and the corner of my eye. It's really hard to see because it's rounded on the top and the bottom, so I can't really see what the wing looks like from this angle. It's kind of annoying. Uh, hopefully this is good. That was way more dramatic than it needed to be. <laughs> now, can I make the other side even? Oh my gosh, are they even? Like, ish. I think I would like this a lot better if there wasn't a curve at the top of the bottom so I could really clearly see where it's lining up with my brow, where it's lining up on the side of my eye. Like, I found that to be a little annoying. But let's try and even it out with the pen that comes with it. Attach all the lines you know. There is not a lot of flexibility to this pen, which is fine. Just noting it. Ugh. It's very uneven. I'm mad. All right, I think, I think I saved it. I think it's okay. Actually, I really liked this liner. This was nice. It was more on the stiff side for liners, which I actually kind of liked. It made it a lot easier to get a precise line that's not like all like floppy if you have like a sudden hand jerk or something, you know? Liked this, not so much this. Now we're gonna get into the face and this is a product I have been using for a while now. So I find it interesting that it's on the next big thing because this isn't a new product, but I decided to include it because it was on the list. And that is the Farsali Skin Tune Blur Primer. This blurs out the skin, it's a primer, primes the skin for foundation or whatever you're gonna put on next. I personally like it. It was actually in my everyday makeup drawer. Oh, before I do that, I should probably apply some <laughs> mascara. That would be good. I'm gonna do a little mix today. The Shock from YSL with, this is actually a new one by Hourglass, the Unlocked Instant Extensions Mascara. Go and check out my last, uh, not last video, but the video before. I used this for more of like a no makeup makeup look and it is bomb. So beautiful. But I like it for like a little extra length and I like to mix mascaras, cause this is fun. Oh, I'm running out of my, the Shock mascara. I need to go get more. So expensive, but it's so good. I think I'm going to add, before I do the lower lashes, I'm gonna add a little bit of silk from the bronzing palette just to cancel out some of the yellow in the under eye thing. Thing, the look. That's pretty aggressive, but give me a minute. I will 
fix this. Why, Natasha, why did you do this to me? But let's go in and apply this primer. Let's just blend all of that in to the skin. Ooh, smells so good. And I'm gonna go in with foundation and I've been using a lot of like tinted moisturizers or really, really light coverage foundations as of recently. So today I'm using the Bite Beauty Changemaker Supercharged Micellar Foundation, one of my current faves. I'm just gonna like bounce it over everything. Really, really light layer. Then we're gonna do a little touch of concealer. See how I can <laughs> make this under eye look a little bit more streamlined. Maybe if I remove a little here, add a pop of this, and then just blend it on out with a damp sponge here. Okay, better. I'm gonna let that dry a little before I like feather it out a bit. Do a little bit of bronze around the edge here. Just a lethal beat. Then we're going to get into a new cream blush that people have been obsessing over. I cannot believe it. I'm really excited to try it. And that is the Cream and Blush Duo by Patrick Ta. And I had to scramble to get my hands on one of these because it was sold out in so many of the different shades. This is She's That Girl, which is a beautiful, more of like a neutrally rose tone. I really wanted the peach one, but this one is also very gorgeous. So on one side, there is a more sheer cream formula, and then you can really amp it up with the powder and put that on top. And again, people have just been obsessed with this. Oh, trying to figure out how to open it. There we go. It wasn't as intuitive as I thought for whatever reason. I thought this part down, look at my smudges all over. Honestly, <laughs> this right here looks like the hinge. So I'm like grabbing it from the other end. No, it opens from this end. Anyway, this is what it looks like here. It has a little flap to open it up so you can use the cream product here and then apply this on top. So that is what we're going to do. Ooh, oh, that's nice. That it, it honestly is like almost like a, like a watercolor level of sheerness, if that makes sense. I'm just using my fingers to kind of tap it into the skin where I want it. And then I'm going to use the powder on top. Wow. This makeup day is working out a lot better for me than the last one. <laughs> it was not the makeup day for me. I'll link it though for you guys in case you wanna watch me struggle. <laughs> oh, I'm really glad I got this color. It's gorgeous. Quick, get it while you can while it's still in stock. That is beautiful. Beautiful. And then while the cream is just drying a little bit, I want to go in and just like fix up under the eyes a little. I don't know what you're talking about. It's not really bothering me. All right, now a little mascara. Then we're gonna set that blush. I am obsessed. It is so pretty. Just wanna put it <laughs> over everything. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm so happy I got this. I like that they chose a bunch of products from a bunch of different categories. There was actually one that I have tried on that list that I really like that I also wanted to mention. So I've tried the primer, really like that one. The other one is by Briogeo, which I grabbed from my shower. Where, where, where did I put it? It's like a giant green tub. Like how could I have lost, oh, there it is. It is the Be Gentle, Be Kind, Avocado Kiwi Mega Moisture Mask. It smells so good. Mm. But I'll use some of this on the bottom of my hair, let it sink in and then rinse it out. My hair is just so soft after, but not heavy, you know? I've actually even used it like <laughs> on Julia's hair for like a special like spa day moment. And her hair is so shiny after so shiny. But it's the other one from the list that I like really liked. So one to let you guys know, real good. And then for my lips, like I honestly haven't been using very much on my lips, like like a tinted moisture kind of a lip balm or um, one of those almost like blurred like effect. Like it doesn't feel like you have anything on your lips kind of product. I feel like I just want to highlight the inner corner of my eye a little bit. Oh, that's better. I'm using clutch from my palette in case you're wondering. Oh. There we go, much better, love that. So let's do a little setting spray. This is the Veil Soft Focus one from Hourglass, which is relatively new to them. Really like this one. Doesn't feel like anything. It's just like such a soft mist, real nice. Recurl the lashes here. And then lips, I wanna do gloss today. 
It's gonna be this little glossy moment. I don't have any new ones though. And I would only wear this at home. <laughs> no, I take that back. I don't want a gloss. Nope, nope. My face is already so glossy and my eyes are so shiny. I want something more matte. Yeah, that is much better. All right, now I'm gonna go about the rest of my day. I will check in with you guys later. We'll zoom in close. We will see how everything is wearing on the eyes and see what my favorite product is and my least favorite. So, see you in a bit. All right guys, it's end of day. Just in the process of editing this video and I look crazy for a lot of it. But here we are at the end of the day and now I wanna share with you guys my thoughts on these products. The liner stamp, didn't work for me. I'm still, I stand by it. I think the liner itself, like the quality of it is good. It just like the stamp just didn't, didn't work for me. The eyeshadow palette I love. I think it's beautiful. <laughs> Under my eyes was um, a thing that happened today, but I do like the shadows and I do like the shades that she selected in that palette. So I really, I really do like that. I will be using that more. And the brow product I also really liked. I didn't know how I feel about the like back and forth brow thing, but it was good. The blush I also liked, it didn't hold up the best all day, but it did give a really pretty like, like sheen to the skin, like a nice glow. I feel like overall it was a good makeup day. I really, I had a lot, of, a lot of fun with this one. Big thanks again to Neutrogena for sponsoring today's video with the Sheer Zinc Sunscreen. Thank you guys so much. Go and check it out down below. I will link it for you guys as I will with all of the products. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you all. Mwah.